This time on Playcash, we force robots to massacre their own kind. And I still haven't turned off my steam noises. Um, <laughs> this is the second episode of the Itch.io charity pack. We are playing Gladiobots, which seems to be some sort of a robot combat simulator. Uh, we botched the last recording, so we're trying this again. Hopefully it'll let me do the tutorial from the beginning. Okay, good. Basic training, introduction. Welcome to Gladiobots, the ultimate robot fighting competition. The rule, one rule, is simple. In this match, your team, blue, must defeat the enemy team, red. And they advance towards each other. Robots are autonomous. You can't control them auto uh, manually. They obey their artificial intelligence. This is the AI of the robot you just selected. And this is where we got to when I realized I messed up the recording. <laughs> It's composed of two kinds of nodes, conditions and actions. Hover over them to reveal their meaning. Uh, bots can only execute one action at a time. They check their AI from left to right, and they, and they counterclockwise actually, searching for the first valid branch. Control playback of these with these buttons, however, oh, oh sorry, hover over the buttons to reveal their function. If myself empty shield, Flee from closest enemy bot. Attack closest enemy bot at short range or at medium range. Move toward closest enemy bot. I see. Okay. And they fight each other. And that one's out of shield, so he's running away. And he comes back when his shield's back. That makes sense. I see. And they just fight each other. And you can fast forward it. Oh, I can. It's, a, it's already victory. Exactly. Good join of everyone. Basic training and attack. Let's see how to program your bot to attack the enemy. Click on logic branch button. Attack the enemy. It's highly recommend to complete your basic training before trying this mode. Go into training mode. Training. But I. What? <laughs> Not only this. What? I definitely told you to click on that. Yes, it did. Oh. There we go. This is the mm -hmm. AI editor. It's here you will program your robots. This is the ro the root node, the starting point of your AI. Root newt. <laughs> root newt. Root newt scoop. This is an action. It's the attack closest enemy bot. Gotcha. For this action to be executed, you need to link it to the root node. Huh. Do you understand? You did it. All right, we win. Mission complete. Approach then attack. Ready. I wasn't ready. Your robot is programmed to attack shorter medium range enemies. It needs to approach them first. So let's make a approach. Move towards so closest one... robot. Attack closest. Yeah. And. There you go. Uh, there we go. Ah, and it gives you range indicators too. That's pretty cool. There's a bug in this AI. The highest priority of leftmost node is to move towards the enemy. Whenever that happens, it means it will never try to attack it. Let's fix this. Gotcha. So I just gotta... Oh, I see. So can I just... Yeah. Now he'll get into medium range and start attacking. Yeah. Cool. Hooray, you do it. Victory. Legion incomplete. This is pretty cool so far. Mm -hmm. yep. Robot is now equipped with a shield, white bar. It absorbs damage it absorbs damages before its health, blue bar, is impacted. If your shield doesn't receive any damage for a time, it'll automatically regenerate. You're gonna learn to run away. Yep. And it's gonna be like, oh, you died. That's not how this is supposed to go. Yes. Let's flee from the enemy if your shield is empty. Other nodes can be linked below it. That they will be checked if the condition is valid. That's if myself enemy shield, flee from closest enemy bullet. Link. Link. 
Cool. Now we do. Do the fighting and the running. Yes. It's doing good at killing the enemy. Victory! Who would have guessed? Hooray! Tech, do it yourself. Now let's see how to create notes. First select the type you want to create. Select an action type. Attack. Select target type. Enemy bot. Use the filters to refine your target search. Short range. Medium range. And select target selector. Closest. Cool. That's dope. It reminds me of a... Uh, in games like Dragon Age. Mmm. Yeah, I did a lot of that in Dragon Age myself. Just this one's like way more in depth. Approach then attack. Do it yourself. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's the thing I made? At any range? Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Oop. Nope, yeah, that's what's supposed to be on the left. Yeah, okay. Action. Move. Uh. Move. There we go. Enemy. Uh. Closest? Apply. Move towards closest enemy bot. Ready. <coughs> blink, blink, blink. You did it. You killed the enemy root bit. There's no way the enemy root beer will destroy you now. The enemy root beer? Let's create a first condition node. Swibby. Ah, condition. Like target type. Myself. Uh, zero percent shield. If wait, what? If she... Oh, yeah. if exists, gotcha. And then boop. <laughs> I I get how to do a game. Do you move fleet? Enemy bot. Uh. Yeah, I guess so. Neat. Ready. It's uh, one of them programming type games. Yes, it is. This is also something I'm into. I don't know how much I'd play into it, but I'm into it. It's one of those things you can do when you're bored, you know? Yeah, definitely. I wonder if there's going to be like a puzzle mode where it's like you're given a very specific situation that you got to get out of. Maybe. In collection mode, your mission is to catch the resources and score them to your base. Ready. Once I kill the bot, it's going to be like, collect. If myself carrying resource. Or a resource to closest ally base. Catch closest resource. Bing bam boozle. Okay. Alright, defend yourself first, as it is on the leftmost. And go for that. It is now carrying, and therefore it will go to base. It's also unable to attack in this state. Take it into consideration when designing your AI for this mode. Gotcha. Indeed. So it'd be good to have like some bots going for collection and others don't collect, just defend. Yes. Yeah. You want the tanks to be yeah. collect. As a hobbyist game pro uh, programmer, a lot of this makes sense. Victory! We did the basketball. Domination. Ah, control the points. Control and hold bases. Once the base is captured, you get to be. Okay. Yeah, if capture closest neutral enemy base, capture closest enemy base. Ready. Ah, I see the way they set up. Your bot captures the base as soon as it enters in a short range zone. 
Note that the more bots are capturing a base, the faster they capture it. Typical capture base stuff. Yes. CTB. Program your rubits. Not the rubits. Base is now capturing and start scoring points. We can also program your rubits. I program them as much as I can. Now go for the enemy base. How are we going to get these potatoes to the market if your robots <laughs> can handle them? That was, the, that was the last match. I was getting potatoes to the market. Yeah. You're now, now you're capturing. To capture the market. Yes. <laughs> it's really oh, zooming in right now. Murder bots. The McCullin family sells his potatoes again. There's some serious dramatic zooming. Oh, it stopped. He yeah. wants you to know how adorable they are. Yeah, pretty nice robots, yes. Seven to one. I think that's that counts as a victory. Basic training uh, complete. Total loss. I mean if you ask Brazil they would know. Ooh, we well, got if, if statements, teamwork, you know shotgun. All right, we're not going to stick around in training for this whole video. That's been half the video so far, so... Sandbox. Let's just, oh, is there? Yeah, it's bottom. Sandbox. So you can do XVX and experimental stuff. Let's go 8 versus 8. Yeah. Oh, it's collection. Can I just, like... Nope. Do I have to program each one? Yep. Oh, left team setup. Uh... Can you change the uh, type of bots okay. there? There's kits. Oh, class. Shotgun, machine gun, sniper. Let's get a couple of snipers it's in. What the? Uh. Schwit. Oh, I see. It doesn't loop. <clears throat> get a sniper in there. These guys can be machine guns. And these two Man, can be. If it's like a physical game and you could get pieces that look like that, I would totally buy them. Right? You should go back to the two in the back and actually click machine gun. Yeah, maybe I should. Machine gun? Ooh. Machine Those gun. Those are some BB boys. They, they're definitely the tanks. Yeah. I'm pretty so, sure they could fight Pikachu 3 and win. We're gonna make them machine guns. But then who's going to carry the shit back? Them as well. Machine guns. Okay. Now we go back. And have them on collection. These guys on collection as well. These three on all uh, four on collection. These guys are on attack. 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 And attack. No, the snipers should actually be on attack. You just want two on yeah. collection. And... Ready. Ready. This will be interesting. Uh... It's certainly nice looking. Oh, oh no. It seems like the attack AI just sits there. So we're gonna. Yeah, the, yeah, nope, don't gonna cancel. Pause. Uh, what is the attack AI? Attack. Da, 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 machine gun class. Is this gonna edit all of them or? This uh, No, I think it's just that. There's editing, there's copying, and there's deleting. I don't know if you can restore it to default after your. Uh... Elimination, would that be better? Pretty sure that means for that specific game mode, but maybe it would be better than just attacking. Here's what we're uh, gonna do. What's up? What's up? Yeah, Alright, good night. Nope. Right up. God just talked to me. <laughs> Did God just talk to you? Yeah, that's what I was talking to you. Sniper class. Ayo Kojima is just in my house right now. It's where he went. He's working on Death Stranding 2 and he's uh, living in a little closet in my hallway. 
There's these weird mushrooms that grow on the back of the wall there, and he's been eating them to get ideas. <laughs> okay. There we Don't go. Do you want that after, dude? Do I? Yes. I'm pretty sure you want some moves after the attack. Yes, I do. You're right. And uh, that should do that. Yeah, uh, I had shotguns on attacking, right? Yeah. Where's Dargan go? He's doing stuff. Okay. Other way around. Yes, other way around. No. no, no. Program. Yeah, sorry. Don't make me second guess myself. <laughs> Durgan is very good at arranging squares. Yeah, that should do that. I hope it's not just that one. Ready. Ah, there There's we only... go. Oh, it is. Okay. All your shotguns. All the yeah, they kind of got messed up. Oh, they regen. Doesn't make them flee when they oh, do they? Shot at. Dope. Yeah, look at look at them back there. I get. Reminds me of the, of the uh... shotguns or shit. Yeah, kind of. Is... I think it's just because there's like they're the fastest, so they're going right up on the whole enemy group. Do you know what the game of life is? No, I don't. What is it? It's a game where you change pixels on a thing to generate different. Uh... Oh. Different outcomes and patterns. Yes, yes, I know what you're talking about. That's basically, exactly what this is. Yeah. You program robots. So, if you enjoy stuff like that, that's kind of a type of puzzle game, I suppose this is. Then, uh. Yeah, give it a go. Yeah, it's kind of a puzzle game. This, uh. Makes me feel like when you're playing one of the classic Rainbow Six games and you make that perfect plan and it just goes smoothly. I feel uh, like you could. About that. You could get that kind of a thing going on with this. They just don't make Rainbow Six like they used to. No. Now it's all an action game. No, but I don't think that. I think this is just a stalemate. That's yeah. It's like the you have to change your uh, variables because you can't win with the current because the instructions they have they just keep getting blown up. It was the. Yeah, yeah, I team, but their oh. balanced team seems to be fucking up your Oops. team. No, that's not what I want. There we go. Hey, what's the collection AI? Collection. If myself. Oh Jesus! You can nest them. What do you mean you can nest them? Yeah, here, right? It has collection underneath it. It has attack. It has oh, it I see. Can I like trash? Oh, there we go. Okay. There. So now they're on just collection. Let's see how that goes. Okay, you massacred my boy. My boy? Oh no. Well, I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> well, it didn't happen like this last time. Well, you changed the variables. That's what happens when you change the variables. I guess you're right. But what happened is because there wasn't as many shooting at them this time. <laughs> That's true. Now they're just running around like retards. You lose! Yep. Alright, so Damn. doing that didn't work. At least the first one trapped them in an eternal stalemate. Uh, so I guess we'd want to. There we go. Bring attack back. Um. Hmm. Well, look, that one there turns your enemies into hippies. What? <laughs> oh. So yeah, you can nest them. That's pretty dope. Fucking hippies. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get rid of those shotguns. Cause they're kinda... That's not what I want. They're kind of ass. Yes, they are a new gun ass. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I want... Left team setup. Okay, we're gonna make these uh, normal ass guys. Yeah, you can customize them. Assault. Yeah, assault. You can change their colors. I don't care about that right now. I'm just playing around you with can the. Paint your minis, Sean. What? You can paint your minis. I, yes, I can paint my minis. But can I pumpulate? I don't think you can pumpulate. They don't seem to be doing anything anymore. They tried. 
Oh no. <laughs> this is why Dargan's not in charge of planetary defense. This is exactly why I'm not in charge of planetary defense. <laughs> this is the whole reason why. Dargan's not very good at simulated sci-fi combat environments. It seems taking out the shotguns made it worse. <laughs> They're stealing their glowing. They're getting away with the shinies. The simulated shinies are being stolen. And that's the end of the episode. Really bad. Didn't even get a win. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm not good at this game. What do you want me to say? If you like this episode, leave a like and share it. We do daily videos, so subscribe if you want to see more. Social media is in the description, and click that bell. We don't know what it does. <laughs>